Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines for September 22nd. Farmers across the country are staging protests demanding the government come up with ways to stabilize rice prices that have plunged this year due to overproduction. Rice prices have dropped nearly 25% on year, with 20 kilograms of rice being in the 40,000 won range. As the country is continuing to import rice, prices are expected to decline further. Farmers are calling for a revision in the Grain Management Act, which would obligate the government to purchase rice from farmers when prices fall too much to a certain level. A director of Hwachandeu Asset Management has testified that the company did not have sufficient proof that the son of former lawmaker Kwak Sang-do suffered from an illness that was severe enough to make him eligible for 5 billion won in severance pay. During yesterday's hearing for the company's key figures involved in the Daejangdong land development scandal, the director, surnamed Park, stated that Kwak's medical certificate did not indicate that he had had serious health issues. Park added that he thought it was inappropriate to use the certificate as a reason to provide Kwak with the severance pay. Finally, the National Health Insurance Program for Foreign Workers on Employment Visas recorded a surplus of 1.8 trillion won from 2017 to last year. According to data from the National Health Insurance Service submitted to Justice Party lawmaker Kang eun mi workers with three types of visas, E7, E9, and E10, paid 2.02 trillion won in insurance premiums and earned 22.25 billion won in wages during the five-year period. However, Kang pointed out that these workers face discrimination, with many of them being classified as local subscribers and being excluded from the government's ongoing trial project on sickness allowance. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly discussion segment, News Seminar.